friends this is Joanna welcome to my channel I hope you guys are ready for another fun project now I rolled out some clay already and hopefully I remember the different colors this is graphite uh, teal pearl and this one is yep this one is <laughs> Okay, I'm going to check it online and put it in the description below. Now, I roll those out on number three of the pasta machine. And I'm going to start layering them. So, I'm going to take the graphite first. Um, then, I'm going to put the teal on top and the pearl. And now, I'm going to move over and get some of my silver leaf that I have been using for years and years and years. I guess I'm not using it enough because there's always so... I have a huge supply of server leaf. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna place that on top. Just like that. We're going to cut it and place it on top just like this. So we have some layers and we are not going to be layering it as much as usually I do when I make my Comagin. I have a bunch of different layers. This one I'm just going to just kind of push it together. Every time you push it, you give it a little push like an indentation like that, it's going to um, create a little wavy effect in the clay. I'm not going to be cutting it as I usually do. None of that. None of that business today. Okay. There you go. So let's just start slicing it. Actually, you know what? Do I want to slice it? Do I want to put it in the refrigerator? Because, you know, it's really warm where I am and... Mm, I think we, let's let's see if we're gonna be okay here. Let me try to slice it. I already have some clay prepared here for my slices. No, mm -mm, it's too soft. I'm gonna throw it in the freezer for like five minutes, and I'll be right back. And we're going to start slicing it. All right. Okay, I'm back. My clay is a little bit cooler. Yay. So, <clears throat> so let me start slicing it and see if we get any kind of nice designs. Okay. You know what? That tells me that my layers are just a little bit too thick. So let me... Because I would really love for all the colors to be together. And there's my dog. I know some of you guys don't mind it. She's just protecting me from this horrible, horrible mailman. <laughs> or male woman that we have. Alright, so let's see if we can get any nicer slices right now. Yes, the slices are much nicer. I like it. Hmm. And we do everything looks that it's really nicely attached. So now let's find the spot. Actually, this one here doesn't seem that it's now it's good okay so let's find a spot that is going to bring some interest for us and i like this one here let's flip it over so this is just a regular tear cutter i'm going to flip it over and i'm just going to touch it a little bit on the edges just like that and I'm also going to push a little bit you want to work it in on the inside a little bit we're going to make one of those hollow pendants let's see if I like <coughs> the design oh yeah and that's really nice with the silver over there that's going to look great so at this point 
what you can do is just grab the rest of the leftover clay and we're going to create backing with it. Alright, so we're going to take that and this one here too and let's make some backing for our pendant. Okay, so I rolled out all the scraps on number one of the pasta machine and you want to make sure that this is stretched out to your liking. And we're going to seal that little pocket of air that we're going to create here. That's really coming out very, very nice. So you're going to go put it down. And actually, you know what? I feel like I want more here. Let me stretch it just a little bit more. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And now we're going to place it down and you're going to go like that. You're going to seal it like you make pierogies. Have you guys ever made pierogies? I love pierogies. That's my, that's my thing. I love pierogies. Okay, so now let's see what we have here. Let's pop. Actually, you know what? We could probably just leave it in for the time being so it doesn't get distorted actually me nee, it's all good it's already so we have this nice pendant and I'm going to take a smaller version or the tear of the teardrop and I'm going to place it right there and if you did it the right way, and we're going to see if I did it or not, if this is sealed, it should all nicely puff up because there should not be any air escaping. So let's see if I did it the right way. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, all eyes on me. All right, there you go. Oh, it came out nice. Very nice. I guess there's no air escaping. <laughs> So now you can actually, I'm actually going to leave it that way and bake it in that form so that it does not move around. So basically this is how I'm going to, because if I'm going to remove it right now, it's going to start moving around. So I'm going to throw it in the oven and I'm going to bake it really quick because I'm going to need this for the second part of the <laughs> of the uh, of this project that I'm doing because I'm trying something else out and I want to share that with you guys too so throwing it in the oven I'll see you guys in a few okay so the pendant is baking right now so let's get started on the second part of the project because you know I like to try different things with the same colors and see what things come out with one color or the other or vice versa so using the same colors I made a, S a Skinner blend oh okay hold on let let me take the nah, nah. I I tempted to make Skinner blend because you know I'm horrible at <laughs> making Skinner blends so I'm not shy about that I I know some of you are probably looking and it's like oh my goodness anyways so this is the best that I can do with a Skinner blend <laughs> so there was the graphite here teal and that purple that I have no idea the name of it because I removed the package and I threw it out. Who does that? Me. Anyways, so I I thought that we could do something the same thing with the Skinner blend. So let's let's see what what comes of it. I'm just going to grab a little bit of the silver leaf and maybe not completely cover it, just cover it in spots. Um just like this. We don't we don't want too much silver leaf, but we'll be it's kind of nice to have that shiny popping up. Okay. Ah, there you go. And now we're just going to go and fold it. Let's fold this. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. 
I'm like seriously have no idea if this is going to be any good it's going to look good if it's gonna look horrible it just came to me and I thought that it was that would, that would be kind of nice to have that extra color you know the you know the the colors that are in between the blends they're always so pretty so I'm looking for if you are wondering why I'm rolling with this is because this is how prepared I am and I do not have my roller available there it is <laughs> hiding in the very back so let's let's roll it out just a little bit okay so now it's nice and thin And I think I'm going to cut it once, just so that it's easier for me to slice it. Okay. Oh. Like I said, I'm not going to be creating any design on it. Sometimes I do with the, with the cutters. This is all by hand. I already have rolled out a thin clay here. It doesn't have to be thick at all. This is, I think, number six or number seven. This is just like to hold my pieces that I'll be cutting. So let's go for it and see how it comes out. And if we're going to see any kind of difference whatsoever, maybe there won't be. You know, putting now that I started cutting, translucent clay would be nice. Okay, so we're going to continue cutting here. So I'm back and I made sure that this, all the slices that we had are nice and smooth. And you can kind of see that the color combination is just a little bit different. We have those different shades going on. And I decided not to go with the teardrop on this one. I'm going to go with a circle. So let's do the circle. Where do I want it? Hmm. Okay, so I want to try one more thing before stopping with these colors. Basically, I rolled out clay on number six of the pasta machine and I did the same kind of layering as in the first batch. So it was, um, I think I did the, the graphite, silver leaf, then turquoise and the and the purple and I did it twice and then I cut it in half and I uh, put it on top of each other so um, that's how I got this and I put it in the freezer of course for a few minutes because you know how it goes here just too darn hot to work with it now let me just go ahead and slice it and see what kind of slices we're going to get with that Okay, I am back. So this is what I have. You can see that I was going crazy here. So this is the last batch. These guys are with the Skinner blend and this one was my first one. So right off the bat you can notice that I did not smooth out the surface of my clay and well enough and when I started stretching it I didn't realize that it actually cracked on me and I'm not sure if it happened during the baking or if it was there and I just didn't notice so that's that these are the Skinner blend ones and you can see that we got different colors here besides the the teal and the purple so that's kind of nice we have the little green going on like I said it would have been nice if 
I use some translucent and this is the last batch I thought it came out super nice I'm not quite sure if there's actually as much difference as I anticipated between this batch and that batch but they came out really really nice okay so I'm grabbing some gloss polyurethane right now and I'm going to apply it with a brush to my pendant okay so let's look at the pendants now these three are made uh, from the Skinner blend this one here no hold on where is the one that I just made these three are from the last batch and this one here was the first one so that was the first pendant that I made you can see that I didn't roll out the clay uh, very smoothly so there's that crack which is okay now these definitely are my favorites that's the last batch uh, I'm not quite sure if it's because there's more teal in it or what the deal is and I thought it would be really nice to put a little dingly thing right there I think it looks very very pretty as well and I'm totally impressed uh, by how much shimmer I'm getting just with this gloss polyurethane rather than um, using resin so this is really really nice it came out really great I'm so happy with them I already wore this today to work and I'm gonna go and shoot some pictures hopefully you guys will see that beautiful shimmer in the pictures well my friends I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I inspired you guys let me know which ones are your favorite because these I could totally do without um, I think definitely the last batch is my favorite anyways till next time my friends and thank you so much for watching Ta -ta.